What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and Happy New Year. I hope my voice sounds okay. I am not at home right now. I know I needed to make a video on the channel. I have not uploaded a video in several weeks because of the holidays. And so now I'm back here to talk about Evil West. And I know I'm late to the party, and I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> to everybody who's returning, um, all you guys are new. Thank you for coming to the video. Leave a like on this video if you wouldn't mind and sub into the channel. We really appreciate it. And let me know down in the comments if you have played Evil West, if you're going to play it from maybe from the things I've seen in this video, or you're just going to do it because I'm not listening to this dude say I'm just going to go check it out. That's fine, too. Let me know down in the comments, and I'd really appreciate it. So with that being said, let's talk about Evil West. Now, I'm going to do this video kind of like how I did my last gaming video. I'm not going to do a pros, cons, and mix. Instead, I'm just going to talk about the game. Okay, I'm just going to talk about some things fresh off my mind because I played it a good bit last night and I figured that I have more than enough material to talk about where I can make the video. I am not finished with it. I am a good bit into it. I would say I probably have like a quarter of the game left to play. I'm playing in a performance mode on PS5 and I just want to give my general thoughts about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed that aspect of it. I like just having conversations. It doesn't always need to be written down or something, you know, way, you know, way up there, like being really articulate with everything I say and do. So let's just start off by saying visual fidelity. Guys, visually, this game is an eyesore, in my opinion. It does not look good. The visual fidelity in this game is very muggy it looks very grainy and that's not because i got a film grain on i cut that off i cut down motion blur i try to adjust my settings i thought maybe it was something on my end but then i was hearing another youtuber say the same thing in their review how it and this is before i played the game and said that they thought the game was pretty hard to look at i didn't really think it looked that bad look the gameplay trailers i was like man it looks pretty clean to me so I installed the game, I start playing it, and I'm like, wow, it, it really, it, they're right. This game is really hard to look at. To today's standards, visually, this game's ass. Like, and, and again, it's not saying it's like the graphics are terrible. I think the character models are decent. They have their own little art style to it. I think character designs are decent. I think the, the creature and monster designs are, are okay. I think they're not bad. I think the, the like architecture when some of the buildings you go through, I think like a lot of the towns, I think look pretty decent. And there's a couple spots in this game. It's like, oh man, all right, okay. Like you're like, okay, you know, we have a really, really nice visually looking game. But then you start walking through towns. You start maybe doing some combat, which in combat, I feel like the graphics look the best in my opinion, which is always a good thing because I need to see what I'm fighting. But everything else, walking to different destinations and cut scenes look pretty decent as well, I might, I'll add. But everything else just looks very, very muddy to me. Just has this really weird contrast that it's hard to explain until you play it. I got gameplay up now. You might be able to see it here. I feel like all my shots look pretty good, but you might be able to see what I'm talking about. And it's a real letdown because I'm playing it on performance mode. I expect a drop in fidelity, but I didn't expect this much drop. What I compare it to is Horizon Forbidden West. Now, what do I mean by that? When that game first came out on performance mode, that game did not look good. I don't know if you guys remember. Let me know down in the comments if you do. But when you boot up that game for the first time, when it, when it first released, it looked pretty rough in performance mode. Fidelity looked real clean, but 30 FPS. I just, I can't do 30 FPS. I have to play performance. Put it to performance, the graphics just look muddy to me. Cutscenes look decent, but everything else looked muddy. It just like the the grass and trees, the way they were moving, the wind. Just I mean, the character models look okay. They looked all right, but everything else just looked very muddy to me. And so they released this patch six seven months ago, and I booted the game up just to see what it looked like, and the game looks immaculate in performance mode. So I'm like. Why is there even a fidelity mode, right? Like, if I can play with this fidelity, a 60 FPS, what's the point? Um, so that's what I compare it to. I compare Evil West right now in its current state to how Horizon was 
at the start. Now, don't wrong. Don't now listen. I, I know that sounds like a crazy comparison. Obviously, Horizon Forbidden West, like absolute, takes a nasty, wet dog shit over Evil West graphically in general. I'm just saying, as far as fidelity goes, this game looks like it plays at 460 or like a four. Is it like 420, 460 p, something like that? It's like when you go on, you I think it's maybe like the lowest settings, like 360 p on YouTube when you're looking at the visual fidelity on your YouTube videos. I think the lowest one's like 360. I feel like that's how I'm playing Evil West half the time. So visually, I felt like it had a, a lot to be desired, in my opinion. Not to say it's a bad looking game. I'm not gonna sit here and say it looks like current gen, like like Last of Us Part Two level, but it looks decent. Just visually, as far as the fidelity on screen, the resolution sucks. And I don't know if they need to release a patch. I tried I I bumped my my game to fidelity mode. It didn't look much better and the game played shittier. Which brings me to gameplay. The gameplay has some pretty bad stutters at times. Most of the time it runs pretty smooth. But when you have a lot of stuff on screen, as expected, it takes the, the console has to work a little bit harder. And there are moments in this game where the performance drops a good bit during combat. I mean, you have enemies from up top shooting stuff at you. You got enemies rushing you. So you, And then there's a lot of these enemies, and we'll get to enemy types in a minute, but there's an enemy type where... They're up in the air, and they can make all the other enemies stronger. So you have to kill him up top before you can kill all the ones on bottom. And dude, I've died so many times because you're getting bum rushed and you can't see because of the way the camera angle is, which I think is a good and a bad thing. You can tell that this game is heavily, heavily inspired by the new God of War games. With the camera angle being closer to your character. To having a more cinematic experience. That I do like. I do like it. But what happens is when you have all these enemies coming at you the way they have it. It's hard to see. I was having that problem in God of War Ragnarok. Even though God, I feel like God of War Ragnarok does the camera work better. And as I expected to. It's a triple A studio. It's provided me. You know, if Elden Ring didn't exist. Game of the year quality stuff. I expect them to be able to do it better. But in this game, it's because you're so close to your character, you're getting hit from every angle. And I've died so many times just from you know, those types of enemies. But the gameplay is fun when done right. The gunplay is decent. A, a comparable enough of feedback. I will say on the DualSense controller, I did like how the triggers, they did, you could feel the tension of triggers when you, when you, whatever gun you were shooting. I thought that was pretty cool. I, th- I didn't, I really didn't expect that. That's one thing I have liked about the PS5 more than the Series X is I do like that even these games that are not PlayStation exclusives, I do like that they're adding these little extra um, accessibility options to the controllers that I do like. And I think that's why I've been favoring the PS5 a bit more than the Series X. But that's a whole other conversation. I do like the feedback on the controller, although it kills the absolute dog shit out of your controllers. Man, these controllers are already ass, but when you with this extra stuff, it does kill it. I've noticed, dude. I've, my controllers are like lasting an hour and a half, two hours tops before it's like I have a like a notification on the screen saying my controls are already dead. I'm like, dude, what the hell? I'm like, <laughs> like um, but gameplay is fun. You know, you have this gauntlet on your wrist. You work for this company called the Rentier Institute. You're the son of the director of this corporation. And you have this gauntlet on your wrist where you can do these lightning attacks. You can rush your enemy. You can pull them towards you. You can blast them in the high heaven. Um, you can you can let out all kinds of different blasts to damage control when you're getting surrounded. Uh, you can do this attack where you hit both sticks at the same time. You can jump from enemy to enemy. And that kind of, again, damage control if you're getting overwhelmed in this game. You will get overwhelmed because you can't fight them all off if you didn't have these abilities. They almost make you feel like you have to use them because while you are powerful, at the same time, you'll get overwhelmed really, really quickly to the point where you'll be like, you'll be like just going at one enemy just using melee attacks and you're barely doing any damage because you're getting tumbled by like 50 others. So you're having to dodge them while trying to take this other enemy out. And I'm telling you, it gets, it gets very, very overwhelming i mean i've had times in this game where i've had to put the controller down and take a break like for a a a good bit of time because i'm like man 
one, I'm I'm about to break my PlayStation. You know what I mean? And these PS fives are hard to find, so I can't I can't do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, gameplay gameplay is a lot of fun, especially when you get on a roll. You feel like you feel powerful. You feel like a, an actual like like monster slayer. And and for that, I will applaud them for that. I think the best part of this game is the gameplay. Let's move to enemy design. I think the enemy design is really cool. I think it's very it has a lot of variety to it. You have your exploding enemies. You have your your huge, big enemies, right? These huge gargantuan enemies. You have these enemies that just bum rush you. You got werewolves who are very strong. They get a hold to you. It's hard to break free. They'll splash you again to high heaven. It's 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 a lot of variety. You got these nasty ones that have these long necks that can grab you. You got to shoot them. All these enemies have weak spots. You can blow off different limbs and stuff. And it's really it's really gory and really graphic when it needs to be. Um, and I wouldn't say it's like Resident Evil 2 remake gory, but it's pretty decent. It's it's a lot of blood in certain parts of the game. But I will say the enemy variety does kind of get lackluster where I'm at now because I feel like I'm fighting the same enemies over and over and over again. And some games do do that. Um, do do <laughs> do they some games do actually do that but it more so here i feel like i am fighting the same type of enemy especially where i'm at and i will say that i think that it does get very repetitive and they could have done with a little bit more of a mixture uh towards the later stages of the game but um it is fun to still kill them well some of them it is and uh, when you actually can deal some damage, it's pretty cool. You got your upgrade. You got your skill tree. You can upgrade all your weapons. Um, you can you can find these loot boxes where you can customize your appearance. It, it's a good little game. And one thing you have to say about it, it's a good old fishing video game with no microtransactions, no live service bullshit, no multiplayer. It's just a good old-fashioned game you can play from start to finish. And then if you want to do a new playthrough... I think there's a new game plus, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I think there is a new game plus. And even if there isn't, I'm sure they'll release one. And if not, it's just a good old game to go back and play on a harder difficulty. I mean, I think there is some fun to be had here. If they could just up that fidelity, I think this I would like this game a little bit more. Right now, as a stance, I think it's a decent game. I don't think it's like the best game ever. I don't think it's the worst game ever. I think it's just a good game to just sit down and put anywhere between 12 to 15 hours into it. Um, I know I'm getting close. I've put probably like 11 hours, so i got to be getting close. Um, and I think it's a decent time. Would I buy it right now? I would wait for a sale. If it comes down to 30 bucks, pick it up. I don't think it's a really bad buy for $30. I paid more than that because I was impatient. I really wanted to play it. Uh, not that I regret my purchase. I don't regret any purchase I make. I might just regret when I purchase it. But I think it's definitely worth a buy if you have the, the spare money. If it comes down to 30 bucks, cop it. Definitely don't think it's a bad game. Good old-fashioned video game that doesn't have all that bull crap that comes in today's gaming um, atmosphere. And, yeah, I, I, it's a decent experience when it comes down in price. But I will say, support these types of games because at least they tried to do something different. I love the lore they created in this game. The story is not all there, but I like the lore they created in this game. And I, for that alone, the ambition alone, I hope it gets a sequel. And I hope more games like this come because these are the type of games we need we need these types of single player experiences not this open world bull crap filled with a bunch of random side quests we need games like this that are trying to build a world what they try to build here is really really great and for that i commend them for it and you should definitely check it out you know what buy it now if you want to <laughs> they need all the support they can get but don't take my word for it like i said try it out or, you know, like I said, if you want to wait for a sale, wait for a sale. Let me know down in the comments if you've already played it. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all I got for you. So, with that being said, Happy New Year, guys. Stay dead, my friends. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.